नमस्ते एकेडमिक बैंक ऑफ क्रेडिट्स दिस इज इंट्रोडक्शन टू एकेडमिक बैंक ऑफ क्रेडिट क्रेडिट्स वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट ब्रीफली इंडिया हैज इट्स नेशनल एजुकेशन पॉलिसी 2020 एंड देयर इज लॉट ऑफ इंफेसिस ऑन फ्लेक्सिबिलिटी इन लर्निंग mobility for learners and to increase the gross enrollment ratio and to reduce the dropout rate and to enhance the employability skills and competence in the students and in this direction this academic bank of credits called as abc is going to play significant role let us understand how there will be a bank called as abc bank of credits where a student if transfers from institute institution a and goes to other institution even if a student resumes his or his or her studies after certain number of years the student can redeem the credits which are deposited in a bank credit bank and again start his or her studies in other institute in the program continuing from where his study was stopped so this is the benefit of credits in a credit system you have to earn certain number of credits for example say a bachelor of engineering computer science and engineering say in each semester if you have to earn 28 credits and if you have done three semesters and you left so you will have certain number of credits deposited in the bank which will not be uh, wasted which will be not which will be used utilized later whenever you want to again resume your studies in some other institute so there is a great motivation for this swami vivekananda always used to say each soul is potentially divine and the goal is to manifest the divinity because of certain factors certain reason a student who has tremendous ability is not able to continue his education must be given adequate opportunity to carry out to continue his education and whatever he did or he had already completed that benefit must be carried forward so the system this particular system of abc academic bank of credits will remove the obstacles on the way to achieve perfection if a student realizes at certain stage by motivation that the student wants to continue his or her education and wants to achieve his goals he must or she must be allowed and this is allowed this flexibility is allowed in the system called as abc so let us understand the national education policy very briefly as we know that in national education policy the emphasis is more on competence the employability skill development and the employability skill is nothing but the combination of knowledge and skill set of course values so knowledge skills and values if they are combined it becomes employability skill so there has been lot of focus nep is the first education policy of 21st century in india and that advocates revision and complete revamping on all the aspects uh, or, or the factors of education to create new system that aligns with aspiration goals of 21st century including sdg 4 keeping in mind about india's traditions and values i have mentioned values skills and knowledge so sustainable development goal 4 is one of the 17 sustainable development goals of un, UN sustainable development goals and india is doing tremendously well in order to achieve this sdg 4 well before time so nep is a learner centric what is more important is our education has to be learner centric so in that direction this is going to be a new education paradigm by emergence of national education policy and student centric learning student centered learning will enable the students to learn more flexibly with more mobility and can have better ability to demonstrate his or her skill sets which he has acquired during the period of study so what are the selected fundamental principles of nep 
fostering the unique capabilities of each student and to promote the student's holistic development the goal is to goal is to allow everyone to exhibit the hidden potential the unique capability and to promote everyone's holistic development so the focus is on holistic development and when we say holistic development it doesn't only include the academic knowledge but also includes appropriate skill set that would be required in industry and also the values tradition cultures of great india so flexibility and ability to choose their learning trajectories student can choose their own trajectory whatever in whichever discipline he or she wants to study no hard separation between art science between curricular and extra curricular i mean multidisciplinary and interdisciplinary education has to be given lot of priority and has to be promoted the emphasis on conceptual understanding rather than rote learning the the learning is not to be done for examination passing the examination but to have the conceptual understanding of a topic or the courses and and different uh, programs focus on regular formative assessment it doesn't uh, advocate about advocate about the summative asset assessment it talks about formative assessment at every interval certain interval there must be assessment and based on the based on the assessment proper review has to be done based on review and feedback the many remedial measures are to be taken multiple entry and exit point is the beauty of met it different level students have to be allowed to exit or enter based on the circumstances so it's never too late to pursue your dream if a student realizes that even he you know he was dropped out or he could not continue his education and after 10 years the student realizes and a student thinks the student believes that the student can continue and a student can pursue his dream you know the student must be allowed to uh, continue the education this is a fundamental spirit of the nep 2020 and what we are going to talk about multiple entry multiple exit scheme there is a flexible learning that leads to award of certificate diploma and degree rigid boundaries which are there between science engineering engineering technology you know and different uh, disciplines of science curricular extra curricular have to be removed to ensure zero year loss to the student so if a student thinks that after one year student has inclination to other discipline the number of credits the student has earned has to be counted and that uh, this barrier has to be removed to reduce the dropout rate as i mentioned in the beginning to reduce the dropout rate and to improve the gross enrollment ratio that so that the every student is not left with the quality education and research in india it facilitates lifelong learning with opportunities of learning from anywhere any time so it gives a lot of mobility that after any number of years when the student has left the education or wherever say the student is located to other place relocated to other place the student must be allowed to continue the education seamless student mobility this is the very important point mobility between or within degree granting educations through higher education institutes through a formal system of credit recognition credit accumulation credit transfer and credit redemption the students have to be given power have to be given provision to redeem redeem the number of credits which the student has earned before the academic bank of credit therefore abc is there which is a mandate of government of india to facilitate students to become its academic account holders so it will be just like our bank where the financial bank where we are we have money and whenever we want we can redeem we can debit certain amount of money so in the similar manner abc will work and you can you know uh, whatever you earn will be credited in the abc and whatever you want to debit suppose you want to go somewhere you want to relocate you can debit those number of credits so generally one credit in india or anywhere in education system means one hour of theory or one hour of tutorial or two hours of laboratory work per week that to per week remember Dur duration of semester is generally 13 to 15 work weeks that results awarding of one credit to the student so we have to understand what is credit when we are talking about credit transfer abc with credit transfer mechanism has to be there credits are will be always deposited in a particular university or institute where student studies and there will be bank where deposit will be there 
and then whenever institution changes the student goes to other institution those number of credits will be redeemed and student can continue the education from that point of the that point where the education was stopped so let us understand the operational details it is organized from level 5 to level 10 where level 5 represents certificate and level 10 represents research degree say level 5 which is uh, you know it it is equivalent to earning 36 to 40 number of credits where a student will get ug certificate in the field of learning or discipline science engineering whatever for those who exit after first year say a student is not able to continue the education and wants to exit after two years of ug program first year or two semesters of ug program will be given a ug certificate that will be counted it's not like that you know this is uh, since the student is not able to complete three or four years this is not going to be waste this is to be granted as ug certificate in the similar manner ug diploma if a student exits after two years or or after four semesters and the number of credits by that time the student would have earned will be 72 to 80 and will be granted at level 6 ug diploma similarly bachelor degree will be granted when the student exits at the end of 3 years or completing six semesters earning 108 to 120 number of credits at level 7 at level 8 student will be granted bachelor degree bachelor degree honors bsc honors ba honors or bsc research so a research degree will be granted will be will when the student is exiting after 4 years or eight semesters equivalent to 144 or 160 credits at level 8 post graduate diploma degree will be granted after exiting the successful successful completion of first year or two semesters of master degree program actually student has taken admission for master degree program where the master degree program is of four semesters two year but when a student wants to exit after one year the student has to be awarded pg diploma certificate and how many credits he would have earned by that time 36 to 40 number of credits at level 9 master degree will be definitely granted after completing 2 years or 4 semesters and at level 9 master degree 1 uh, year or 2 semesters after obtaining 4 year bachelor degree or honors research program so these are two different of different types of master degree program uh, earning certain number of credits and doctoral degree uh, the minimum prescribed credits for course work will be there which will be prescribed in a phd degree a doctoral degree program in the institute and the thesis and the research work has to be submitted in the due uh, you know in in the in the due course of time and the student has to be awarded doctoral degree so this is a portal which is there in abc.gov.in uh, where student can register is a kind of opening his account or her account in a digi locker search for education what the different types of categories create abc id and then in uh, that in that particular id all those credits will be accumulated similarly for institution institution can register uh, the name of institution in the abc academic bank of credit so that students who are coming from other institute can get benefit of credits which are there which are deposited in the uh, the abc so uh, this is the screenshot of abc.gov.in academic bank of credits ministry of education government of india briefly it's a online centralized system credit accumulation and redemption redemption is allowed credit audit trial uh, management is there credit accounting is there what are the benefits enable student mobility we have discussed academic flexibility in learning and it allows student to choose own learning path learning trajectory can change his trajectory from one year after one year or two years recognize learning achievements what are the salient features multiple entry and multiple exit scheme it is a beautiful scheme that is facilitated because of abc anytime anywhere learning that is mobility and flexibility it allows students to study their own pace and completely transparency is ensured because the credits are there in the academic bank of credits so whenever student goes to some other place anywhere any time the student will be getting benefit of that thing so the education is a transparent education system so student mobility intra or inter, inter institutions and how low dropout rate through multiple entry exit scheme are the benefits and enhancing the gross enrollment ratio 
Flexible learning empowers the young minds towards employability, greater employability skill set, and also to avail and to benefit uh, the diverse opportunities which would be there for a student who will be coming out from the system. And, and the, the, the system of ABC, the mechanism of ABC, multiple entry, multiple exit scheme, will be uh, allowed for any uh, kind of, <clears throat> any, any type of stream or discipline, including life sciences, engineering applied sciences, physical sciences, humanities, education, social sciences, etc. So this is a, a excellent scheme where the credits will be counted and students will, will be allowed to continue his or her education. So flexibility, mobility, and the empowerment of student is, uh, are the salient features, most important benefits of academic bank of credits. Thank you.